Hey, good morning there, YouTube. I'm just uh, doing a little battery check. I've uh, equalized my battery. That's my little uh, cheat sheet, which both sides of those papers are full now. Do it once a month, fill them with water, equalize the batteries. Use a 12 volt battery bank. I used to have four batteries. Uh, first one, I only got two, not quite two years out of it, died. These are three years old next week. They're doing quite well. And uh, I'm going to show you what I do to check them. What is important is that you always keep a bottle of distilled water handy. And as I said, I got my four, actually five computer fans that are blowing on these batteries and constantly stirring the air up in this room because this is in a back room in my home and inside of a walk in closet. And the whole room I, I don't use, so it's not an issue for me. And they sit in a big plastic tub. But uh, you do have to check the water level at least once a month, make sure they don't go dry. I eat them once a month. An equalization charge. I, I start it manually with the Flex Max at 15.2 volts for about two hours. Seems to do a nice job. And I think I'm running about 380 watts off one soul tracker just to keep these batteries charged up and running. I'm going to be adding a uh, five cubic foot uh, small freezer, chest freezer. I'm going to just run it off my inverter. So these things are always getting a little bit of a workout. They only draw about 480 watts max, and then in between that, they're not drawing very much at all because it's a freezer you don't open it much. But uh, I'm going to show you the uh, hydrometer, how to take a reading. I gently put this camera down without it collapsing. Set this leg up a little better. There's always something going on. Sorry about all that movement. I just uh, had two dead batteries fail on me I'm trying to do this. Everything's getting old like me and failing. But anyway, here's the hydrometer. Hopefully you can see it. And what you want it to be is up in the high green area, which is where this one will be. You can get these pretty much anywhere. U.S. battery hydrometer. If you're in the red, you're in trouble. White's not so good. You want to be in the green or above for a nice hot battery. So you just stick it in here. Squeeze the bulb. That one's up in the midpoint of the green. Notice the negative seemed to run a little lower. Negative side of the battery. I've already checked these. I'm just doing this for demonstration. This will tell you if your electrolyte's nice and hot. There's that one almost jumping out of the tube. So I'm not going to bore you doing all of them. I've already done them. They're fine. But, uh, this is just a little update. As I said, they're, uh, DC31DT Decker batteries. These are marine deep cycle batteries. They've been pretty good. Like I said, three years old. They're still cranking out. Plenty of power. When they fail, I'll go to uh, some 6 volt batteries next time. But I got, uh, I think, 380 watts on the solar tracker right by the street that keeps these hot. And as I've mentioned before, on the four big panels, which I think is like 980 watts, I made a jumper, <coughs> a jumper wire that I can run those batteries those uh, solar panels, excuse me, and if we had a, a grid down situation, I have another switch here on the wall, this battery switch. With that jumper wire, I can unplug my in-phase 215s, and then I can run that 900, roughly 80 watts of power directly into my battery bank off the tracker. And with the inverter I have, and I have another little 400 watt inverter, I could keep my house sustained as far as uh, lights refrigeration, and if I disconnect everything, I can even run my well pump. So, not the best system in the world, but it definitely works and gets me by. It will run the refrigerator uh, 
some lights at night, which I use 12 volt lights, and I can run my computer, plug it into the TV, watch movies, and I can get an easy 20 hours out of it. So, again, it won't work for everybody, but for me, and it's just me here, you know, it works fine. This has been a, about a three year experiment. I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot from other people on YouTube. I've learned a lot through my own experimentation. So, just about anything's possible if you want to spend a little time and money. Next time around when these go, I may go with a 24 volt system. So anyway, that's an update on the batteries. Three years old, and they're uh, still cranking out pretty good. And yesterday I did a video, I don't think I posted it yet, about the Enphase Inverter 210. That went down again. It's mysteriously back online. It's working again, so I don't know what's going on with that. All right, well, that's it. That's the update on the battery bank. Thanks for watching, and uh, any questions, leave a comment. Bye.